Okay, it seems that we are on air. So, welcome to everybody to this uh, first uh, episode of the Malama International Version. Uh, as you see, now I have two laptops because one of them was not enough. It seems like. So, no, it's the first time in uh, this new location. So, and uh, we are happy to introduce you um, this new episode. I don't know, still if you are uh, on air, actually, no. The episode is on air, but I don't know if you are. If you are streaming on Facebook and also YouTube, so please, if you can uh, reply, it will be very much helpful to see if we can, uh, if uh, everything is fine. So please, I'm waiting for you uh, from some uh, some comments. So yeah, now we see that uh, 12 people they are already following us. So, so even if we have like uh, some technical aspect that we didn't work today, we we will just start. So the video will be. Online that you can see also afterward. So we are uh, with our friend uh, Leonoy from uh, Norway, and uh, I strongly introduce him uh, as uh, our new bigger friend uh, and uh, let's say uh, great. Uh, uh, I don't say host because you are a part of this house, part of this uh, program. Uh, oh yeah. For the last uh, five years, we've been talking too much, probably <laughs> too much, uh, never too much. But we've been, we've been spending. Tens of hours in the car together. And it was a, and it was a very pleasure talking about the machine dogs, talking about uh, LGD. And so uh, you came here to visit us, and we thought that there could be a very good idea to have uh, a good chat again between me and you, but just like uh, on, uh, on air. So, and I'm okay. talking about in, in English, probably is uh, opening uh, to a public that actually we, yeah, we never could expect to have uh, only the time. So, I mean, like, uh, uh, a very big hug and a very good welcome to you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah please introduce you a little bit. Um, um, my name is Leo and I'm from Norway, uh, south of Norway. Uh, some of you have seen me in various commercials from five, five years ago. Yeah, it was five years ago. Exactly. Um, and then I was here to pick up two dogs uh, that uh, developed into. I started breeding and I've been here working uh, for some months, several times. And <clears throat> now we've been discussing the Marama TV. Um, and I've seen that many of my clients have asked me specifically can. Dario do this to be in English. Um, so now I hope you will you will look up there. <laughs> Hopefully I have now convinced you to um, start doing the English version of this. And we've been discussing a lot um, of today's topic. And we received many questions, but um, I think it was a very good idea to start with my first question to you when I called you six years ago. Um, and I was in need of um, a large Hardian dog. And I called Dario and I said, Why should I choose a Marabashi dog compared to the other large Hardians like the Anatolian? The Pyrenees, uh, some of the other Central European livestock audience. You made me go back uh, two years ago. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah, right. right. And we talked, I think we talked about two hours on the phone on the first time. And it was a long time, probably. <laughs> We've been talking a lot. <laughs> but but um, please, um, if you receive the question again, um, what why should people choose, or farmers, or also um, people who want a companion dog, why should they choose a Marama sheep dog compared to the other livestock dog? So you go, we, we go straight to the point. We go straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I should be prepared to talk about it, always. But, uh, yeah, you know, like, uh, online is always like, uh, yeah, maybe we overthink to say the correct things, but we have to try to assume that you that you are my only <laughs> my only the only person with uh, with them talking about. So why you should choose uh, Maria Machine? 
and why it's different. That's a big topic. That's a big topic, but we can, uh, we can immediately say that uh, in the world, especially in the whole world, in the Europe, in the, uh, say in the central part of Europe, in the eastern part of Europe, fortunately, they've been growing in the centuries, uh, let's say, and they've been developed different kind of uh, uh, LGD. So all the LGD, like some garden dogs in the world, are coming from, uh, from, uh, from Europe, and that's a fact. That's affected, and of course now they've been developed and spread all over the world. And uh, what makes the uh, Murray Machido what uh, has been has been done in Murray Machido is so special. Uh, the fact that uh, indeed uh, it was uh, uh, always uh, selected in the central part of Italy, which uh, like uh, we were in the council just a few days ago, and I was telling you, in an environment uh, where uh, wood they never disappeared, but there were uh, people. They were very, very always uh, present. So uh, let's say that uh, there's always been this kind of equilibrium between the fact that the dogs need to be strong enough to uh, compete and to take the wolf a little bit apart and so to protect the flock and the you. So they didn't have to be aggressive against you. That's like uh, uh, it was and has been a very strong force that has been created in the breed that on its medium average, of course, is a pretty tough, a strong, a strong against uh, other animals that try to, let's say, uh, give a damage to a flock. Not only be aggressive because uh, they are aggressive dogs, there are our dogs are aggressive also against other animals like uh, wild boars, so that they could be not a very indirect. Predator, but like uh, an animal that uh, can create problems to the normal flock. But uh, they are also pretty uh, good working in the team and are also uh, pretty good uh, uh, and with humans, uh, let's say not against humans, but with humans uh, that actually they are approaching in a good way. So the good fact of a Moraima Shield dog that is uh, an equilibrium just uh, genetically. So let's say the average, most of my very much dogs, they are very good really, and they are easy to handle. And that's like, uh, I think that uh, is a good and crucial point in, a, in, a, in a, especially when we talk about uh, uh, a dog that has to be inserted in, a, in a, an environmental, let's say, uh, of course, where they are shepherd, but they are not used anymore to uh, work with the LGD. So probably in Europe there are uh, LGD that uh, they could be more efficient, but just through the aggressivity against the animals. But uh, even if uh, this is of course an important, then uh, you like uh, uh, you can find the weak part on the fact that they are more difficult to manage. Let's say if we talk about uh, uh, is, um, is a centralized shepherd, so of chart, let's say. Uh, they are extremely good dogs, I love them, they are very, they almost wide and powerful, so well, yeah. but then uh, when they reach a kind of uh, a certain age and they mature, then uh, it's very hard to give them uh, uh, also to be good uh, against uh, many strangers, yes. but they are not so bad, they are good strangers, and, uh, no, and also not so good strangers, but then uh, they, they don't really realize that the realm is much more easy. So it's easier to keep a Marama straight in the background of the dog and still introduce new people, yes. new packs, new environment. So it's a more adaptable dog. It is. It is. It is because just of, because of the internet. Yeah. It was uh, actually the fact that uh, it was necessary to be like that. So let's say the, the genetic pool, it was just like uh, grow around that focus. Yeah. So let's say that if uh, unfortunately we talk about also the best, so I mean uh, I hope that uh, our uh, my uh, follower there uh, will not be shocked, but uh, let's say that uh, centuries ago and uh, um, let's say the sensibility like, with the uh, yeah among yeah, yeah, to human and then also was not that strong as nowadays people uh, let's say that uh, they would reach the point to, to kill. Yes. The dogs that they were like uh, not safe from the family, not safe from the shepherd, not safe from the workers. And so that's been a selection of that's been how they come out dogs for a long time. Yeah. 
but over a thousand years uh, because we, we talk about a breed uh, that is like uh, uh, there are testimonials of uh, yeah, uh, book and the testimonial that, that, uh, that's at least uh, in history of 3,000 years. Uh, at that's least. Fun. At least. That's a long time. You may be one of the oldest stock breeds in the world. Yeah, at least uh, one of the most recognized. Yes. It was actually, even if we were not like the fishermen in the past, uh, they were recognized by the whole population. Yes. So, I mean, the writers, the writer of the writer machine, you know, of course, they don't call like that. They call the big uh, central Italian nice. uh, garden of this. So, and that's like, uh, that, that's make uh, the breed very successful. Maybe not as much as uh, probably it should, it should be. Mm. So, I would say it will, according to me, it will like um, uh, militar, militar, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know the word, but it will come back in, uh, in my mind. So, and uh, yeah, now we should talk about the fact that you are one of those. You are, you are a person that uh, has a problem with uh, uh, protecting your yeah, you living <laughs> <Yes. laughs> in to, to be honest, I was one of the farmers who started farming because I love dogs. Okay. <laughs> and, um, uh, Lifestyle Italian Dogs was one of my, from when I was a kid and I could read uh, my dad's dogs, dog dad's an answer, encyclopedia. Sorry about that. Um, encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Lifestyle Italian Dogs was uh, one of my favorites because we were talking. Um, and when I took over on my family's farm uh, about 10 years ago, um, I saw the issue of doing all three of chickens um, without a guardian dog. And for me, it was also an opportunity to finally have a place in the area to, to keep a life of guardian dog. And uh, I've been doing work with German Shepherds for many years. And when I lost my last dog, it was time to do and we wait. And then I started to look for the livestock garden books. And I was reading a lot, I was contacting a lot of breeders of different kind of breeds, of course. And I saw one of your old YouTube videos um, and I sent you a mail. And you replied politely and said, uh, it's too many questions, can I call you? <laughs> uh, and we were then talking for, for a long time and uh, it was being started and you invited me down and I was here for, I think it was a week, almost a week, first time I was here. And then I ordered my two first dogs. Um, I didn't think that I was supposed to be, don't go starting with Greek at that time, but I did. And um, we've been now it's changing a bit of dogs and probably jumping a bit from another team to another team now. <laughs> but um, so that's, that was my introduction with with the Mara Machine Club. And I kind of think that the thing that was for me um, the level of choosing the wrong was softest. There is an incredibly soft breed due to its strength and power, speed. Um, in everything, it was surprisingly soft compared to much of the other breed sets. Um, was described as very strong, aggressive, some people even feel bullying in that way, but never felt it in the same way as, uh, as I think with the Moran, it was soft. You yeah, know, what, what, what they normally say to people, in fact, that, that you know, like, it's just like, like every spring, uh, we receive like uh, requests from all, all over Europe, and also Brazil, uh, or US. And the people, they really want, they need a dog to protect their dog. They get very informed, so they read that they are right there, they are right there. But then, the, I, I can feel 
it's always the kind of a big, big, uh, big fear that they have. They say people think, but uh, we, 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 we need it, but uh, we can we can deal with them. So this is always a kind of uh, let's say that people they really don't they need it, uh, but they don't know if we can deal with them. So usually I always say, okay, if uh, something can be sure according to my machine dog, okay, my machine dog of course again. More, more guarantee because they know the, the, the line that's and the work that we do. But in general, is that they can, you can trust in them. Yes. So they're very trustful also. So with people, people that they can, if you teach them, they're, they're sensible also. Mm. They can feel it. And I think that today the Mario machine dog is um, the dog breed of the lifetime of your dogs who fits the European market and the European need better than um, especially the Central Asian dogs because of um, the way they approach you with less aggressive, uh, aggressive uh, approach. Yes, yes, yes. Then uh, now we have already a few questions. Uh, see, we have the dog Rachel Dara, not Dara Rachel, I don't know which is the name, but Rachel Dara. And uh, she, uh, she said that uh, we have a uh, we have had great Pyrenees and then I told him, but the Remus has been a special class, uh, very capable, but uh, we love the soft side uh, of, uh, of uh, ours also. So that's, uh, that's another good point. So yeah, she's, uh, I think that she's from the US, she already contacted us. So I'm going to great Pyrenees, uh, let's say that what I can uh, say by, by what I know uh, is like, uh, I've been uh, meeting through great Pyrenees in France, just because we've been contacting by the fact that they are strict as well, mostly, at least uh, uh, the ones that they are, I didn't get to know, but they are a bit uh, too soft against the previous. So they are not as Yeah, they are like even a uh, step down. Uh, and you have to understand that the great period is uh, very big, and uh, all the mountains uh, actually at the moment uh, um, they are not that much efficient. So that's uh, the, the point. Uh, and I point to the audience, uh, this should be the, the Kanga, I guess. Uh, uh, I know that they're good dogs, but uh, I can't actually say too much. So also, they are our cousins. So. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot I can really say. I cannot really say. But anyway, that's, that's the point. So uh, I really hope that uh, in this Maramado uh, Shinto uh, we can uh, we can discuss. Uh, yeah, the idea is that it will like a weekly, weekly to, meet up, to meet us. Maybe it's, uh, one idea would be like uh, maybe uh, every Monday that we can uh, we can uh, we can fix the dates. Uh, every Monday uh, around twenty uh, yeah, uh, hours, uh, yeah. uh, almost an hour. An hour is not long, so okay, but we, we will see. And, uh, and we can also have some guests from uh, from abroad. So I think it would be a very good idea to um, to be honest, if we can get some of the Australian shepherds to do. Uh, Hog trees, that would be very good to have. For me, that would be very good. But I think that we will also be already get, uh, let's say, ledge, uh, an invitation for yeah. uh, who would like you to be. You have contacts. Yeah. I have contacts, but uh, yeah, there are people that have gone to here, so even, uh, even uh, yeah, yeah, in Australia, it's for sure, I will contact them. I will contact them, so, and uh, in the US, in Brazil, uh, and uh, yeah, that's why. The, the good fact about whatever she knows is that uh, mm, they are very happy. So, in every country, they are, uh, let's say, popular or famous or, uh, for, uh, or one of the other places. Let's say in Croatia, for example, uh, many people have to Australia, many people they use it with uh, yeah, the like poetry. Yeah. That's the main, main topic. So, they say that the, they think that it's a, a poetry dog that's yeah. possible. Actually, it's a sheep. Actually, it's a sheep. Chicken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning, when I talk to, you know, like, of course, in Italy, um, yeah, there are many, many readers and uh, um, people, they, they feel a lot, they bring in the history. Uh, At the beginning, they were very skeptical when I talked about the fact that I was starting doing some uh, videos about the uh, show how, how, how Remus are capable to, to protect uh, to protect chickens, also for a war with predators. And, uh, and they say, oh, okay, well, that's not a chicken dog. But actually, all of, in all the world, uh, I think that Marema did protect thousands, if not millions, 
of chickens by every day. So let's say that that also, okay, then you, you, talk, you will talk about your experience, but I was really amazed because we, we gave like the last year, two years ago, um, to, to breeders of chickens actually, one of the most producer of uh, organic cats in uh, Switzerland, in Shira. Um they had a huge problem. So I just remember how many, how many chickens they had, and then it's a kept in a wonderful way. But uh, they had a very big uh, issue with the uh, with the falcon. With the falcon, they were like uh, stealing ten chicken per day and yeah. eating them just on the field. So they say no to that dogs. So I say okay, I can guarantee that my dogs are going to stay with chickens to protect against every kind of a fox. Uh, yeah. And they say terrestrial. Uh, predators, but I cannot guarantee from a ball. And they say, okay, we don't have other, other solution. We try. And then uh, yeah, they are extremely happy. So we'll probably invite them uh, and uh, you too. I'm looking forward to take, take that discussion uh, and to talk about um, predators from above um, would be a very interesting topic to talk about in a later episode. And hopefully, we can fill uh, many episodes actually of. Only about predators from above because it's which are the predators? Yeah, come to which are the predators from above? Oh, we have. Um, it's a long way. I think many. When you talk about sheep, there will of course be the eagles that are natural. But um, do you have to do sheep? Oh, I mean, you are from the south, southern Norway. Yes. So we, we have we have eagles, but usually not a huge problem. But okay. the main problem with sheep for also in the south, and um, will be fox, fox, and um, also especially those who do. Um, um, yeah, but we are talking about the bread, 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 bread from above. Um, Don't forget cows and rails, yeah. who actually uh, attack small newborn lambs and start actually picking out their eyes. Yeah, because I was talking with with Alisa, my wife. She said, "Yeah, you know, like um, in a week." I will deliver two puppies in, uh, in England, so it will be a long drive. But anyway, and um, I was not in contact with the guy, only was going. And um, yeah, he's been asking uh, a cooperation not only in dogs, but just like to talk about uh, the prevention of that from uh, of, uh, predator from above. So probably we will meet him and uh, see yeah. it, and, uh, which will be the result. And for, of course, those who keep poultry, it will be the natural law can. Calculus would be the typical problem for for portraits. Yeah, then the you know, people they don't know you, but uh, usually, yeah, how, how, how they can follow you? Which channel? Which channel? Um, I use uh, Facebook. Um, Your channel name? Yeah. My channel name. Uh, I usually use my farm name. That's Orsna. Um, spell it. Spell it. A A S E N E. Okay. Oh, so we put a link on it later. Um, I also keep my um, it's still the same in Instagram and on Facebook. Uh, yeah, but because uh, yeah, what what people they don't know is that uh, yeah, you are uh, also I mean you are a very efficient uh, uh, reader, but that uh, you also have a wonderful show uh, with uh, with your animals and uh, with the geese uh, and with uh, the chickens and uh, yeah, you are like uh, a special chicken, right? Yes, I have a special breed. Uh, it's um, my chicken is um, I kind of like them because they're extremely slow. Um, they're lifeful and also get very tame, so it's kind of yeah. a fun breed to, to keep. And uh, it, it was a kind of a challenge to introduce my morongo to my Islamic chicken in the beginning because uh, my chicken was all over the place and uh, it is easier to introduce. Uh, a big ball of dogs with chickens. Um, introducing puppies with chickens is difficult. It's <laughs> uh, And to be honest, yes, I've lost chickens. Um, today, um, it's been a long time since I've lost any chickens to eat to my puppies, and now the grown dogs stop will stop them. The, the pump is from attack. Yeah, usually as a breeder, so we do in fact when they, we prepare uh, dogs for chickens, uh, which is the most difficult uh, situation possible uh, because uh, let's say that uh, yeah, for the new owner of a 
prima scelta lo vedremo in Good se aim to have a chicken gang and dog, the usually for, we, we, we start working with them on the at least seven months old, yes. never before. No. Because uh, puppies, the problem is like, uh, because uh, you probably know, that uh, for, for 10 days they are, uh, let us say afraid, but they are skeptical, they don't look, they don't so they, they, they look the ones that they will uh, suffer by <laughs> these <laughs> chickens. Then, so they say, okay, now they are very, very good at that. And then, in that moment, you make the biggest mistake because you don't take a look at them. No, you trust them. You trust them because they're so fantastic to watch them. Yes. And you say, wow, this is my dog. That's my yes. I love him. And, uh, so then you see, <laughs> there are people that start even taking pictures. Uh, oh, look how cute is my puppy with the chicken. And they say, mm, yes. Very dangerous, very dangerous. Then after a few days, maybe they start playing, and playing is very easy to be switched as in a predation. Yes. So which uh, people say, oh, I heard that my grandma, they don't have a predator on instinct. Oh, that's wrong. That's completely wrong in a way that the, the, the instinct, the predation instinct, is of course uh, lower than other breeds, but that's something. Always. They are dogs. They are dogs. They are dogs. And also one of the natural thing about Norama when they they do the pasture work, um, they will see chickens and birds as natural food. So yeah. Um, so I think the the, diff, the most difficult thing is to have rabbits and chickens because that's natural food. Yeah, that's natural. Yeah, 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 that's natural food. Then, 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 Start running, they're just running, and then uh, so they don't control themselves. But the dogs is funny to, yes. to chase them, and then it's like uh, so. The point is that what we do actually, even if it's not the topic of today, with chicken, because they are asking what we do with, with, with chickens. So they are, they are so it's like uh, okay, we can probably make another video specifically, specifically on that. But uh, what we do is like uh, we have uh, like our uh, small chicken area, chicken crop, um, close. To a browse, so I mean like 20 meters of <laughs> and then we go small, yes. then we go small, and we stop them. They start playing or doing something that we don't consider correct. But then you know, it's like a uh, mm, selection. Uh, let's say that uh, we can say sometimes two dogs uh, good and one not, uh, or almost like one pair is very good. And, uh, so, uh, and but then when they are when 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 they know that they can trust them the one month together with chicken then they completely they will always trust them. So that's another point. But when they are bigger, when they are growing uh, situations being established. I've started with hashing chickens uh, along with my puppies. So usually they grow up almost together with puppies. Uh, puppies are growing up along with chickens, just box by box in the beginning. Um, I found that being um, no, easy. Sorry if I said it again, yes. if you watch the yes. it's complicated, but... Uh, yeah, I know it's a complicated thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I remember when we tried for it. No, because it was better if you watch it. Um, but I think it's also one of the things that um, to see the puppies growing up along with um, also the sound, the smell, the sight, yes. um, really help a lot in um, the growing up of the puppy. Um, for being yeah, that is here. This is a natural part of yeah. this, yes. my pack. Yes. And I think it's very, very important to, to also say we should also talk about a lot with pack time and dynamic and who they choose to follow with in a later. Yeah, sometimes it's anyway, that sometimes it's possible, sometimes it's not possible. Yeah. So that's also like just a few days ago, uh, they were coming, yeah. She, actually she's Italian, uh, she's a Marema, she knows breeder, she started now in Australia to breed. So maybe she's answer, she's uh, probably has uh, uh, a very good answer to, to her. And uh, yeah, she was talking about her experience with the chickens and uh, and um, Marema Shidoko, and uh, she also found uh, the weak point that they said. 
Now she said that she had a very fantastic puppy, and now is a seven, eight months old, and now is it more or less impossible to keep her with the, the chicken. And so the point is that uh, when you realize that the dog is not good for chicken, then the whole thing is that uh, it's very hard then to work on it. So it's very important to work with the ramish dog and chickens uh, before then, uh, let's say, um, the, the track is going already in the wrong direction, because that is a, a bit, yeah, it's a, it's a lot more, more difficult to fix them and bring them back to the right side. Because it is, they have very individual skills. Yeah, and also because they, yeah, then suddenly they realize that it's funny and, uh, and they are like, uh, and immediately good feedback. The dog you know, is a assist also for the dogs. So uh, if they like, uh, uh, then it's, uh, it's like uh, when they run away. Yes. When they run away, then uh, if, and, uh, if they like a lot, then it's like a bit more complicated. Too. And then, then like, and, uh, have a good experience also in our house, in our yeah. farm. So that's a, that's a good point. Then, <coughs> another point that I would like to, to, to talk with you is the fact that you also, uh, let's say, that you are opening uh, the mm, Norwegian or let's say Scandinavian uh, agricultural world uh, to the existence uh, and the necessity uh, when uh, now that uh, the wolf and the wildlife uh, is coming back strongly to use uh, a lifestyle, a lifestyle uh, LGD, yeah. an easier LGD, LGD uh, <laughs> to protect the flock. Yeah. We were just talking a few days ago about the fact that uh, that's also a little bit problem now with, uh, with the kind of sheep that yeah. sheep are normally yeah. Yes, probably it will let to they yeah it's it's hard to let them understand that probably the selection that they do that made these uh, great or their focus uh, now it has to change yes. to uh, breed also maybe all the kind of sheep but uh, or all, all selections to go back to yes. stay together and be afraid of the potatoes yes. but because we see it already that in, in that some of the old, really, really old breeds starting to get more popular. And I think that's a very good, a good thing to see the old breeds of, of sheep uh, growing in popularity. Okay, they are smaller, and they probably don't have that age, but they have a self conservation easy. So they don't run away when they say, but they stay, they try to stay together. Okay. Yes. Also, it's easy to drop from a man which you have to control. Yeah, I think that's. Either they just run and as a completely as a flock. Uh, but I think one of the most important things is that when you um, when you keep an army sheep dog, you would want a, the flock to pack itself together yeah. and let the dog do the work. That's that's, a, that's the only way that the marine dog sheep dog can be efficient. Yes, it's, it's the only way. I think that the thing, one of the things I do not, I do not have sheep myself. But I see it in. <coughs> I actually see it in chicken, and I see it in geese. <coughs> in chicken and geese. Um, when, when my dogs alert, the chickens will run inside. Now that's kind of the thing I love, I love about it, because they speak the same language in the same way. Um, but the geese will flock and start to um, form a defense position. Uh, I guess, uh, right. And that will do a lot of help for the dog. Yeah, then I think that he knows a lot how to do. Yes, of course, of course, of course. Do you think that the sea is falling? Yes? No, huh? I don't know. I don't no. think so. But anyway, <laughs> she will see our video. Yes. Hello to see you. <laughs> As you are a cooperator. My cooperator. My cooperator. Yes. She's so, by the way, I have to say that. Uh, you are here to bring up your new puppy. Yes, that was born in uh, Norway. Yes, to you, Romero. Uh, and uh, please with him. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's why. Um, yeah, they're very happy for him, and it's like a fact that I'm uh, happy about the, the, the job that you have done out there. So like, uh, is um, I'm very happy to do it because like uh, I was really looking for a. Uh, uh, Internet, internationalized uh, um, my ideas on the, on the grid itself. And then you've been like uh, 
uh, part of uh, my, dream, my dream that it came true. So like, I'm very happy here you know, and uh, thank you that you were uh, so a good, it's such a good friend, but also like uh, it's such a, a very intense uh, and good people, a good, good person to uh, follow your dreams, but uh, yeah, also with a little bit of my ideas. <laughs> I, 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 would, uh, I would be surprised if you managed to stay so many hours in the car if you didn't, <laughs> you didn't appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, but I can be big sometimes. Unfortunately, that's my biggest, biggest uh, problem. Anyway, so um, let me check because today you have to understand because usually I'm with David that he tells me to do the, the streaming and I still don't know what to see the Facebook comments, probably you are doing a lot, but I don't see it. Let me check it. Okay. Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, wait a moment. So, uh, I try to see as a devil to jump on it. Rachel, I see comment from Rachel. Do you have a dog in the US? Oh, yes, I do have a personal dog in the US. So, I, I cannot see me, but uh, uh, yeah, in 12 years uh, I've been exporting several dogs in the US. So, I still, uh, I have a few times uh, I know that my clients, uh, the puppies there, so yes. Uh, the answer is uh, yes, I do export the dog in the US, Rachel. And uh, years ago it was much easier, now it's a little bit more complicated with, uh, with, uh, with all the documents, but it's like uh, not so, still not so difficult if you compare to export dog in uh, Singapore or uh, where I did in Australia, in South Africa. So my dogs are more or less everywhere. And uh, let's say that's why I, I would like to try to contact uh, some of the guys of my. Uh, friends uh, to give us uh, a, their experience. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, now to YouTube and uh, the streaming, uh, they are very connected to world. Uh, and uh, that's what uh, we would like to aim to do for the next, uh, for the next, uh, for the next episodes. So, what the, what the, another, another thing that they have to talk uh, uh, with the AOA is like, uh, um, for example, uh, would you suggest, uh, uh, why do you suggest? Would you suggest that to people then they are not very uh, much uh, involved in agriculture, but uh, like uh, just they would like to have a membership of its pets? Uh, what? Why? Yeah, I mean, uh, today we will be meeting these uh, Swedish people to come in here uh, to, to take a dog and uh, the, the second dog, and uh, they say, oh, in Sweden, people they, they come and say, oh, what, what dog is this? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. We don't know this dog. So we thought that it was aggressive, but it's not. What uh, the hell? I think it's um, for people who has the right space, it's probably a very perfect. What is the right space? The right space is um, a place where, pro hopefully, fenced. <laughs> Um, because Norma has a tendency to roll. Um, but, um, yeah, been, yes. but, but a place where the <coughs> dog can run and use the body um, as its own pace and time. Um, and it will also have the dog, the guardian instincts, even for absolutely nothing. Um, they will be they can be listening to a butterfly farts at the animals and neighbors' fields and even alerts for it. So it is a dog that look at there, look at there. <laughs> it is a dog that needs um, space and it is a dog that needs um, uh, they will need something to protect. And they, they, they like to please lay away to look to watch it as <laughs> uh, to go also well to be also honest, I'm nearly deaf. So I But you don't look like no. Uh, so I I, uh, I need to read this. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons why I 
I have struggled to switch my head a lot. Okay. So I'll try to I'll try to be better at looking at the cameras. And um, but hopefully that will be better when um, we will be in separate rooms. This one. <laughs> uh, and back to uh, my place and your sit with your place. So hopefully that would be yeah, so it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, but um, back to the, the Guardian. Um, no, not to the Guardian. Let's say that, uh, yeah, for example, you're like, uh, yeah, you're, you're a guy that uh, he has a, a garden, he wants to spend the time with a membership dog, like maybe he's a Swedish guy or a Norwegian guy, he was a, or a German guy, he just like uh, people like to, to spend his life with a membership dog. Uh, do you think that there is like, uh, um, yeah, I know my question, but uh, my, I know the, the, the answer, but uh, I ask you, uh, okay. as, a, as a Scandinavian guy, yeah, do you think that uh, how they will, how they adapt, uh, they are the dream dealer yes. in the somehow, I would, uh, I would say the society? Yes, I would say the most important thing is that how much time do you give the dog? Because it's not a dog who are very good at being alone. Well, yeah, okay, it depends, but yeah, that's my kind of experience. Yeah. It's, it is a dog that's very social and they want to be with you, they want to be around you, um, probably even more than so many other dogs I know. Yeah, so it's not exactly my experience, but uh, I like to be to, to, to listen to yours. Yeah. So that's kind of my experience. It's, of course it can be alone, of course it can be this, but it's yes. for me it's like you will see that the happiest dog more animals will see when it's around its flock. If that is humans, or if that is with poultry, if that is with chickens. Yeah, I don't think that any dogs or many animals are like to be alone. No, in general. I mean, the dogs are social animals, so of course they like to be with other, with other. I, well, my idea is like, a, the best is that they have the chance to stay with other dogs. Yeah. Then the second dog, of course, with the other people, and, uh, but they, 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 they need to do something. They need to find a purpose to their life. And that's, that's really important. To be, you know, to don't go in there, yeah, because of course, a typical dog that always alone, of course, in an apartment is like a nonsense. Yes. That's a nonsense. That's for sure. So people there to be all that. No, just like, uh, in my idea is like, um, uh, my question was like, uh, uh, why an NGD and not uh, like a Labrador, for example, or a German Shepherd? What well, nice question? I guess it is a hard question. I think um, if you, uh, you can also <laughs> not answer. Right? No, I think one of the different reasons. Be independent. Um, it isn't an obedient. Um, it is. Um, it's, not, it's not the dog that will sit there waiting for your next command or roll or roll or fetch things. It is um, a companion, a true companion. That's independent and you have to respect as independence. Yeah, you touch, a, you touch a very good point, and you know, like, uh, unfortunately, you know, this, we, we listen to people that say, okay, you know, like, uh, you know why I like, I like dogs and animals, because uh, uh, people are cruel and dogs are very good. So, I don't agree, or I don't agree, <laughs> most people say I don't agree, but the point is that it's the same with the reaction of uh, you, they don't, yeah, people, they, they usually say that, because uh, usually there are many dogs that they, yeah, they say that uh, for them, everything you do, is okay. And that's like not that uh, they think, yeah, but we, we, we are afraid about people that they don't have almost any thoughts. So they, they face what we want and they say, no, I don't like it. It's the same with the brand machine dog. So they don't, they don't like you just because you are what you are. Actually, they like you because you do what the, they consider that you are a good guy yes. that is good for them. So that's our opinion. So, but, uh, it's very easy to deal with it. There is no something. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the point. They don't do it, what you ask because uh, they have to do. 
they do what you ask because uh, they think that it's a good thing to do and that they trust in that. And that's like, uh, I think that it's a good level to understand what, uh, what the Mario machine does. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the morning they just like, uh, they lie down, they sleep, they enjoy the sun, and it's like, it's like they put on vacation, but then they are in the they have to be guarded a lot. And that's a, uh, it makes like a bigger, uh, let's say, yeah, they make you, your life safe. Yes, sometimes. And I think also when you talk about that, it's, it's surprisingly strong and agile and fast. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I've seen so many times, so many people ask me, but what do what, what you do? They, they seem so slow and they seem so strong and it just feels like, but this is a job right for speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just like to, to ask the people that uh, are following us if the, the sound is correct, if you are hearing very well, if you have some questions to do for us, because we are like at 40 by videos, so we'll be talking uh, about Yeah, uh, considerably, considerably a lot for this first uh, episode. So if you have some question, you will like uh, do it and we will try to answer with the layout. Uh, otherwise, we just like, we would, yeah, and that also would be nice if you have some question and some, um, let's say, oil that you want us, uh, that uh, we will uh, develop and talk with uh, also with you in the next uh, episode. So, um, use uh, our, uh, our, um, our chapter to write us uh, comments or uh, ideas uh, for, uh, for the future. But for sure, we, you, will, uh, you will find uh, in the international analysis in the world a good friend uh, to talk with and to have information uh, in the next, uh, in the next uh, months and, uh, and uh, weeks. So, there we you have something to, to say to me? You are still in Italy for a few hours. No, I'll be traveling home tomorrow. It will be a long drive. Uh, so, uh, thanks for the stay. That's what I want to say. Uh, yeah, it's been a while work. I'm just reading Rachel that she's uh, loving us and she loves you. So, I love to follow Leo's bar. Could you please post a link uh, for his dog's social pages? Uh, I will for sure let me uh, take control of my, uh, let's say, streaming uh, uh, pages. Uh, maybe I will do later, or I will ask, I ask I can, uh, Leo to do it. And so he will have the pleasure to follow his, uh, his, uh, his social farm, uh, for sure, for sure. So, and uh, yeah, for this time, you are not going to be back uh, with uh, any Italian doctor, but uh, it will be in September, so you will to come back. Uh, to bring Fontia? No. I'll bring, I'll bring Fontia with me in September, October. And uh, we've been talking and discussing a bit of who's going to be a good match for her. And so, maybe. Yeah, you're always looking for, uh, yeah, of course, good dogs, but uh, yeah, I remember that you always uh, looking for a soft dog. No, I'm very good dogs. I'm looking especially for the soft and friendly yeah. dogs. Because we have been discussing since the day, of course, we've been talking a lot. Uh, we, we really believe that, uh, they, I mean, they are not really that some days are tougher. So they are more efficient in one in the other. But uh, let's say that uh, we, we are trying to uh, let, let people know the soft side of the So uh, And people like to see these big dogs. Uh, they are friendly, they are sensible, they are like, uh, yeah, good dogs to good companion in life. So, it's always mm -hmm. one of your main aim. Yeah, so it will also be, of course, the natural side of Marama, Marama is all, always a dog. Yeah, it is. And that's the main thing you cannot really wait with too easy, but I think it's important, especially um, when the lifestyle guardian dogs are needed now in Europe. Um, I think it's important to keep soft dogs who doesn't get in conflict with humans in the same way as many of the stronger more maybe probably also aggressive breeds. So that's why I want to be um, keeping soft softness. Yeah then you're always in the time to to increase yes the temperature you know, if you need so if needed yeah any problem yeah with the uh, uh, when the other predators uh, would be Tougher and stronger in the next 10 years, we always have the time to make to be equilibrated, not for sure. So, but now we have few minutes left. I was thinking that the fact that you are here is very important to, to see because I know that you know perfectly the number of the population of my machine that we know. 
if you can tell us uh, which is this, which melon that you're country. I mean, when you did you go away when they started to breed them? Um, there have been three periods of breeding in Rakushita. You know, it's one one quality that it was already in the 70s, 80s. Um, and then in the 70s, you think? That's actually one of the first. Reports. I'm not sure if they breed back then, but that was. Yeah, it would be nice to get to. Get to. Um, also, um, it's been two periods of breeding, and now we are in the third um, period of this. Uh, for the yes, so I'm not quite sure how many dogs we are, but I think we are about 100. So, but all registered, you guess. How many breeders you are? We are two breeders, two only two breeders. Okay. So, also we some will have some uh, one liter or all that, but we are two breeders. Okay. Yeah. Oh, in the country of uh, four, four million, uh, uh, four five, million. Five, five million. Five million. Sorry, sorry. 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 It's like so, 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 so. And you have a lot of connection with the Swedish as well. Yes, we have a lot of contact with the Swedish, and we also um, try to keep up in contact with the Finnish. Um, yeah, um, we have friends in common. Like we have, we have friends in common. So uh, we will be happy to invite you. I would love to. I will. I will. Um, so yes, I think. Um, so do you have an idea about the how the relationship of in Scandinavia is a big in the non street, let's say. I can say it's Scandinavia, sorry, if I have a geographic uh, a mistake, but uh, I guess Scandinavia is like uh, Norway, Sweden, uh, Finland. Yes, and also that but that's not a problem, but it's yeah, yeah, it's that <laughs> is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a sad. Yes, and I think um, in, the, in, uh, in those countries, do you think that uh, there are different approaches on the dog on the brick? Or then they the same needed? I think, I think um, in Finland there's been a lot more um, consistency in the breed, um, and they have already several good breeders, and they had a tradition already to. to, to um, to the approach with, with they need for managers. So that's kind of a new thing that we need for in Norway. And I think it's important to, to uh, it would be very interesting to follow the lines with, uh, to see if the Norwegian lines are getting different from the Finnish lines and, and all of that. If you see some kind of differences in the way we approach it up, it would be Interesting to see. Well, honestly, I've been asking you that, but uh, yeah, there are years and then in contact with Finnish breeders, and I think that, uh, no, the, of course, the consistency in numbers in Finland is, I think, is much higher. Yes, I think. Yes. And uh, I know the breeders, uh, they are lovely breeders, so they would, that's a very good quality. The last 10 years have been importing uh, from uh, different breeders, Italian breeders, so very good quality dogs. So I think that uh, the, now I can say it in uh, Finland, it's a uh, uh, a very um, uh, not always, but uh, um, a real authentic. Uh, uh, there is no painting my mom's my my machine. Though. So uh, Pedro uh, and um, yeah, Pedro from the Aries, uh, um, and you, you they all they were very good. Uh, yeah, they, they came in Italy very often. They uh, they try to understand. Uh, the authentic whole uh, of the yeah. membership dog, and so they import in the very good dogs so and good uh, morphology and character. Unfortunately, no delivery countries like that. And so I, there are countries closer to it, closer to all, yeah, much closer to Italy, that they have like, uh, I guess, a good quality of membership. Uh, in Finland, they did uh, a very good job, and uh, I'm always happy. A few years ago, I've been invited to judge in a um, in, um, well, let's say, a contest. You didn't know? No way. I mean, I was officials. Yeah, I've been invited to the one of uh, them uh, meeting, official meeting. I was invited five years ago, six years ago, or maybe eight years ago, to judge over there. Yeah, yeah. Time is running. I had a long year. And uh, yeah, and uh, the, the point was really good. It was all, I think that uh, that's a very, yeah, they, they are all, yeah, most of them are good. 
The yeah. it's, a, it's a, a stronger feminine thing uh, on the RM machine for example. So, but they 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 do very much. Might be the polar bear cats thing in Morocco yeah. that makes it really polar bear on the cats. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't comment it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, many crazy people. Not, not many crazy people. Cat ladies, and not many crazy people. Uh, Marama, many people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, quite funny. Okay, okay, yes. okay. So, then uh, I, I really don't know the street and uh, this description is really. No, I think it's been, speaking, it's been, been a long time without much reading. Because, uh, let's say, 20 years ago, if you, you know, like, uh, I mean, started reading my membership about 15 years ago. Uh, now, but you know, yeah, I've been following uh, the, the stories about the membership you know, by 25 years, I guess. Uh, and I remember that in the book, the old book that I read, all the read, uh, yeah, there were like mentions about uh, dog and sleep. So, I mean, I think that they started to be good readers uh, 20, 25 years ago, and now I think that uh, they are much less popular. Uh, something was wrong, something went wrong, because uh, let's say that. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't receive many, many feedback from that. But well, anyway, all that uh, I can hear something from the Swedish people. Uh, if they can hear uh, this uh, video, maybe not now, but uh, on YouTube or on Facebook, and, uh, they can reply and uh, tell us uh, if I say, yeah, yeah, no, yes. Okay, so there anyway, Thank you again that you've been here. You. So we are almost going to, to close this. Uh, uh, episode in this meeting, so I have to say thank you for uh, uh, to uh, all the people that uh, they've been uh, with us uh, uh, so far, and uh, it's been a pleasure to uh, to to be with Leo and to uh, be part of. Uh, we'll be starting with this new project, the Marimau Process International TV, and uh, we hope that uh, we, you can uh, enjoy the next episode the, the next week. Uh, we will be, of course, again. Uh, with Leo that will be back in Norway and we will have uh, we will try to have uh, every week or let's say uh, as much as, as um, often as possible one international uh, uh, guest that they can come with uh, with us about uh, Marie and uh, about uh, yeah, uh, characteristic uh, behavior morphology uh, and uh, everything is uh, going on concerning the Marie so Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, I, I wish you uh, a nice uh, evening. Here uh, is like uh, I think uh, 10 p.m. and uh, yeah, as you next time. Thank you, Leo, to be here with us. Something to say? Ciao. 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 Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.